Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shikha and I welcome you to my channel. I hope that you guys are enjoying my videos. I hope that you guys are learning from them, growing from them. That's the main reason I do these videos. In this one, I wanted to speak to you guys about spiritual awakening and spirituality in general and how I think we've started using spirituality as a way, uh, a way of um, separating ourselves or separating whoever we think we are from everyone else instead of actually realizing that we're all one person, all one being and there is no separation between any of us. We're just all one being, looking at each other, learning from each other, but basically the same being existing on this planet, on in this universe, right? And if you guys don't understand the whole one being thing, then you know just message me and I'll explain it a little bit more. I'll do a video on it. Let me know if that's something that you need more clarification on. It's just just the basic essence of it is that you know we're all one creature. We're all one being, looking at each other, learning from each other. The only reason we are here is to learn from each other, to grow as a, as a person, and to transfer all that knowledge to that one being that we are, right? There are different ways of looking at it, obviously. That's just the way I interpret it. But what happens with spiritually awakened people, all of a sudden we, we are people who are spiritually awakened, they think that they are better than the people around them. All of a sudden they are, you know, they're woke, they're awake, and they know more. They've peeked behind the curtain or they've seen the truth and they look at all of the people around them and they see that they haven't awakened or perhaps they're in the process of it and they're not there yet and they're thinking of this world as a real world not realizing that there's something more to it the fact that we are living in a matrix of sorts or a holographic universe or whatever you want to portray the universe as whatever your idea is and they they see these people uh, zombies if you want to call it people who haven't awakened and they look at them and they judge them and they pity them or they look down upon them. And I always think of it as a funny thing because there is obviously, there is obviously no separation between us and them, whatever the us might be and whatever the them might be. We're all just one person, as I said. And so if you're judging that person, you're basically judging yourself. How can you do that? Why would you do that? You're basically judging parts of yourself. You're judging uh, someone that is already you that is you and it doesn't actually really make any sense to judge someone for the path that they're on the same kind of thing applies to anything else we're doing in this life right I mean if we're thinking about the physical real world and we think about how someone you know maybe started 10 years ago doing the same thing that you're doing and they're much better at it than you are you know they're an expert they're doing really well with it for example with the YouTube videos that I do you know someone might have started 10 years ago 15 years ago and they have more followers, more subscribers, they're, they're getting more views, but they just started a little bit earlier, earlier than me. They're on a different path. For example, for, on the other hand, I started two years ago, and so I'm on a different path. And not only that, we have different content, different subscribers, different ways of looking at it, different needs and desires for why we're doing the YouTube videos, different, different things that we want from it, different things that we wanna give to it. Right, so we're on a completely different path, no matter what you're doing, no matter when you started. Sometimes you could have started at the same time, but because you have two separate paths that you're taking, two separate paths, absolutely separate. One of the persons, perhaps one of the per people, uh, one of the people, <laughs> they're interested more in money, and so their YouTube channel is completely focused on money. And perhaps the other person is more interested in gaining um, or becoming a better orator becoming better at speaking and so their path is completely different right and so all of us are on this separate path on a different path even though we are you know the same person the same being that's one of the reasons why the universe has separated itself into all of us into all of these different beings because different beings are taking different paths all of us are different taking different paths and therefore it's like you know you're multiplying the way the, the rate at which we can study and learn this being this ultimate being that we are part of it wants to study it wants to grow it wants to learn it wants to become more and so the best way for it to do that was to separate itself into all of these different creatures the stones the rocks the dolphins all the mammals you know, all the dinosaurs all the humans all the ants all of these creatures are all part of the same being and 
they are all on this journey of learning and we're all learning and we're all growing and all of this knowledge all the knowledge that we are gaining is being transmitted into that higher being and so it's the collective consciousness the collective knowledge that is growing at a rapid rate because all of these different creatures all these different beings are studying and learning and growing right so how can we as whoever we are if we think we're spiritually awakened or not how can we judge someone else on their path if they're pure and they're doing the right thing doing their best and they're living the life that they're meant to live and they're on their path no matter what they are no matter how awake they are or how not awake they are how zombie like they are there is no need to judge them because they're just doing the best they can it's the same thing like if you you know you were probably not always spiritually awakened perhaps there was a moment in your life when you were younger when you were 10 years old 12 15 where you were not privy to all of this knowledge you had no idea what all this was about you would read books on spiritual awake spiritual um, spirituality and you would think that there was complete bogus right some complete nonsense and now all of a sudden all of this makes sense to you right but you were also one of those non spiritually awakened people at some point in your life and can you imagine someone else judging you because you're on a path and you're not ready yet to get all the knowledge about being awakened yet, but you're going to eventually, right? How can they judge you for being on the path that you are meant to be on, right? The same way I think that we can't judge someone else for being on the path that they're meant to be on. No matter where they are in the journey, no matter how far ahead they are, further ahead than us perhaps, or how far behind they are, you know, further behind us, much, much further behind. And we look at them and we think, oh, they're, that's so funny, they have no idea what's actually going on. Well, you yourself had no idea what was going on a few years ago, perhaps. Or, you know, is that really one of the things to judge a person for? When they are ready, they're going to be completely privy to the knowledge. They're going to be able to receive it without any issues at all. And I noticed this for myself as well several times, all the time in my life, that I don't receive knowledge or I'm not able to conceive it or understand it or really integrate it within myself until I'm actually ready to receive it. Some days I'll be looking at a book and I'll be reading it. I think I've used this example before about the Returning to Now book by Eckhart Tolle. And I read this book when I was 21 first, I think in my early 20s, late teens. And so I read it and I looked at it, I read a few pages. Everyone was raving about it. It was, I think, the first time it came out and everyone's just amazed by this person. And I was like, what is this nonsense? You know, I, I don't get any of this, what he's saying. I, it just did not make any sense to me. Everyone else seemed to love him, but I thought he was complete, I, I thought at that point, I don't anymore, but I thought at that point that it was complete nonsense and he was just making up all this stuff, right? Obviously, 10 years later, I read it again because it was on my, on my uh, in my library bookshelf it was there, I hadn't gotten rid of it. Obviously the universe knew that I'd be reading it again. And so I pulled it out again, randomly, I have no idea why, and I pulled it out and I read it again. And it made absolute sense. It was as if I was reading it for the first time and it made so much sense that I could not believe that I had ever doubted this person, right? And so I read the book and I read it again and I read it all the time now because it's such a beautiful, such an awakened book and it's so, it's, it's just so poignant. It, it teaches us so much. That book is amazing. But at the, at, in the beginning, I had no idea what he was talking about. And that's the reason I always say, you know, just because you're not ready to receive something at this moment in time doesn't mean that things will not change in the future, right? Some things, uh, there's been, and this is just one example about the Eckhart Tolle book. There's so many examples I can give you from my own life where I've read something for the first time and did not jive with it or I saw something for the first time and I was like, mm, I don't think so. Or I learned about a new practice and I was like, mm, I don't think so. And then eventually I just let it coagulate in my mind at perhaps, or perhaps I was ready to accept it. Or eventually I got to the level in my spirituality or in my awakenedness or in my, in my mental acuity that finally I was able to see it for what it is, which is a really good idea. And I was able to adapt it to my life, adopt it into my lifestyle, right? This is the same thing that has happened to me with minimalism. The first time I heard about minimalism, I thought they were all idiots. I'm like, why? There's so, much, so many beautiful things in this world. Why would you want to restrict yourself? You know? 
And now I'm a major minimalist, right? And I absolutely advocate for that lifestyle, despite still being the same person who loves beautiful things. I just have fewer of those beautiful things, right? And so I just wanted to do this video because I've, I see a lot of this judgment coming from the spiritual community towards the non-spiritual community. And in Chiang Mai, I'm part of both of those communities. I don't want to say both necessarily because there's, no, there's not like a clear divide between the two. There's not like these people who are not spiritual at all and then these people who are absolutely spiritual. Both of those in a sects kind of intersect with each other. There's like, there's, uh, they're not mutually exclusive. There are integrations between those two groups, but there are these two groups, if you think about it, in Chiang Mai. One of them is a technical group. It's a digital nomad group. They're the ones who are interested in making loads of money from online businesses, doing you know, um, fulfillment by Amazon and drop shipping, and, and they talk about computer stuff all the time, like technical stuff. And then there's the other group, which is a spiritual group, obviously, which is the awakened group, if you want to call it. Uh, not that the digital nomad groups group is not awakened, but this is how we, this is how some ch people in Chiang Mai kind of delineate these two groups. And obviously the spiritual awakened people, they're all, they all talk about, you know, energy and a holographic universe and, and uh, tantra and things like that. You know, that's, those are the conversations we have over there. Now being the person I am, because whoever I am, I kind of have my hands or, or my feet in both groups. Obviously I have an online business, you know, I do all the technical stuff I love. Being a nerd and a geek, I love talking about that stuff with them. Also, I love talking about all the ethereal stuff, all the spiritual awakened things. So I have my feet in that group as well, and I see each group judging the other group. And you know, they talk to me about it because I have been part of, I am part of both of those groups. And they always, I always hear it and I smile because I think to myself, you guys are more similar than you actually realize. But also, really, what is the point of judging each other? I think the spiritually awakened people judge the digital nomad groups because they're so focused on money, but also the fact that the awakened people actually want more money because they're struggling with money. And then the digital nomad groups, you know, make fun of the spiritual awakened people because, because <laughs> you know how easy it is sometimes to make fun of us uh, of of those, that group. It's like, oh, all you guys care about is energy. You don't you don't actually want to live in the real world. You don't you only want to meditate, etc. So again no more judging other people based on the path they're on you have no idea where obviously they've been but also you know you were probably on that exact same path a few years ago a few months ago a few weeks ago and so really what is the point of judging isn't that the whole point of being spiritual awakened is you cannot or should not or cannot judge these people it, it doesn't make any sense if you know that this is all an illusion anyways then that is an illusion as well you judging someone else for their disillusioned path is you yourself putting yourself into disillusionment, I think. Um, if that doesn't make sense, then let me know. I'll, I'll expand on that as well. So hopefully this made sense. It's already a really long video. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I just, I feel a little bit sad when I see this kind of judgment happening and I want to reduce it a little bit more so we can all intermingle with each other and we can all live in harm harmony with each other and teach each other, right? I want the digital nomad group to teach the spiritual awakened people how to make money and I want the spiritual awakened people to teach the digital nomad community how to live in the moment a little bit more and how to realize you know, what their true purpose in life is and their true self is like, right? Again, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below. All of my contact information is in the description below. Please only email me with questions about the video specifically, not about anything else. I am not an agony and I'm not here to solve your problems, your life problems. I'm just here to answer questions about these videos. All right. Thank you so much. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.